All right, if you've ever seen this show, you are apparently one of the few, the very few. The Mecklenburgers is a county-produced TV show created to tell people about county services. It's now on hiatus. Producers say the show couldn't get enough underwriters or sponsors to pay for a big chunk of the cost, and that cost, by the way, $30,000 an episode. How about if we wrote some songs on some really mundane but important county services? The Mecklenburgers uh, was long on awards but short on viewers. Our Stuart Watson asked executive producer Danny Deal about that in a WCNC investigation last summer. If you take a look at how many people watched the show over the past uh, 10 months on WAXN, it was about 265,000 people, according to the Nielsen ratings. 265,000 viewers? That's a third of the county. For this? Really? We wanted to know a lot more about the math behind those numbers. Turns out we only had to count to two, because there are two really big problems with the way the county adds up these ratings. Problem number one. Danny Deal takes these colorful charts provided by WAXN and adds the numbers up cumulatively week after week. See for yourself, 4,500 viewers one week, oops, no viewers the next, none. Then 3,100 viewers, then 5,200 and so on. So what's the problem? Well, no one familiar with television ratings adds them up this way, night after night. Because think about it, if we did, pretty soon we could claim to have more viewers than there are people using television in the market. Well, the second problem was Mecklenburg County itself. In two of the three ratings periods we looked at, the show had viewers in the outlying counties of the viewing area, but none in Mecklenburg County. For its part, the county says its ratings were up. 50% this season, around 4,700 households per episode. The Mecklenburgers will air its remaining two episodes, then it will live on in reruns. County Commissioner Jennifer Roberts said she was looking for places to cut the budget, and the Mecklenburgers seemed like a pretty good place to do that. You can read more of her reaction in tomorrow's Charlotte Observer. And we're asking you to answer this question. Should Mecklenburg County continue to fund the show? You can go online now to WCNC.com and vote.